Now, I'll tell you something else I heard, and I think about this, because at one time, science said man came from apes. Did it not? I've read, That's when you, know, you go to I, the every, science. Every time I read or hear that, I think to myself, you just didn't read the same Bible I did. Well, what this was interesting, though. If that is true, why are there still apes? Think about it. You know, now you're getting too smart for no, us. No, 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 no. Think about this. We have an evolution that is we've gotten so intelligent that if that is true, why are there still apes? And then the conception of a baby. Let me tell you, science can't do that. They're still on. trying to do it, Come on. but it can't because there had to be a God. Mm. Mm. John, why are there apes? Where are my apes at? <laughs> they're everywhere. Well, actually, no, they're, all my a apes lot are endangered. <laughs> all my apes gone. No, they're, they're still there, thus no evolution. The thing about this is not just that it's ridiculous for what I hope are fairly obvious reasons. That of course, we didn't evolve from apes. You're gonna get into all the actual yeah. science of how the, the branch works and all of that. It's that how could you never have even heard this bad point before? And I am, this is not a purely rhetorical question. I am asking the audience, was this the first time you've heard someone say, well, if we came from apes, why are there still apes? Yes. I'm it, actually interested. No, because people, yes, yes. This yep. is, this is, I'm not kidding. That's the first time you've heard someone this say that? This is the first time I've heard that argument. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, look, that's why I wanted to check because, yeah. you know, you never know. Um, for me, if I was a religious person who was committed to the idea that evolution couldn't possibly be true, I would at least bone up on some of the common counter arguments to my what about the apes point. Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a fantastic point. I feel like it's a responsibility of mine to just research that question. Like we have endless data, information, whatever at our fingertips. Mm -hmm. So if I had a question, look, there's no such thing as a stupid question if you ask me, right? That was a stupid statement because he didn't think to actually look into this and just decided, no, no, no I'll be the arbiter of what's really right and wrong on evolution. Yeah, we are no, moving no, no, on, no, gentlemen. I'm not gonna respond to that. And you know what's so funny? I am work with many police officers, <laughs> and at the same time, Mr. Pastor, Walker, Mr. Walker, no, no, Mr. Walker, no, no, no. Mr. Walker, Mr. Walker, excuse me, truth. Mr. Walker, and you have a prop yes. that is not allowed, sir. Yes. I ask you to put that prop away. Well, it's not a prop. It, it, this is real. And he said, I but, have a prop. I never went to law enforcement. It is a prop, Mr. Walker. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Yes. You're very well aware of the rules. He, he thinks he's really a cop. Yeah. He, he, he's a child. Oh, you know, like when you go on a plane and if you're a kid, the pilot sees you. And he'll give you those little, you know, wings that you could put on your shirt. That Herschel <laughs> thinks that makes him a pilot. No, Herschel, you can't fly the plane. No, it's not a real thing, right? And that's not a real thing. You're not actually a cop. People know what I stand for. Herschel Walker is still standing. My bike is not bent, so anyone can ride my bike. Like he's seen to have Chuck Schumer and uh, Joe Biden riding his bike because he's seen to be voting for whatever they say. What? I, I don't I don't know what that was. But that was uh, Herschel Walker talking about bike riding. Uh, but he's also very salty that reporters keep doing this annoying thing where they ask him where he stands on policies. And so uh, he's begun to just refuse answering questions about his policy positions. Hey, what, what's your position on uh, taxes? Oh yeah, now you're gonna ask gotcha questions. Like, no, these are like the most elementary questions of all time. But there's actually one thing he's not completely wrong about. Uh, his bike is not bent. <laughs> no, I have no idea what that means. So apparently, he was when he was referring to a bent bike, he was talking about Joe Biden falling off his bike. So, congratulations. Yeah, figured, but it's still not a thing. It's still not a thing. It's just not. Like, yeah, I saw he fell off. By the way, George Bush fell off his bicycle. George Bush nearly died choking on a pretzel. We can do this all day long. I know uh, the fatherless home is a major, major problem. And Herschel Walker, who was born in Wrightsville, Georgia, you know, I, took it, I took care of a lot of people in my hometown. I took care of a lot of the places around where I grew up. I was being like a father to some of those kids that may have had father. The problem we have is we're going back to this mentality that the father leaves in the black family. He leaves and leaves the boys 
alone. What we need to do is let's say, okay, Herschel, and I, and I blame myself, but I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I said, you know, what we need to do is let's go in our neighborhood and let's become fathers of those fatherless child. Parents getting involved with your child is very, very important. But also adults getting involved with kids because some kids do not have a parent, a mother or father. So I don't think I want to leave that kid behind. Except he has left his own kids behind, lied about the existence of his kid, existence of his kids, not only to the public during his campaigning, but also to his aides. Uh, I, I don't want to leave any kids behind. I mean, other than my own. Totally. Uh, so where are the fathers? Where are the fathers? So, uh, but we live in a post-truth world for Republicans. So, are they going to care about his massive hypocrisy? No. And at the very end of this piece where they show all the things and they say, oh, the Republican insiders know, oh my God, this is a disaster, right? Um, but there's no indication that he's lost any Republican voters. He's lost independent voters uh, and he's now down by 10. So there's that indication that it's not going well. But for Republicans, they're like, I, if a Democrat did it, you know, we'd call him every name in the book and we'd probably even make up things about him. But if you do it, we don't care, we don't care. Uh, oh, you, you lied about it, about this issue, and you were wildly hypocritical yelling at other people about a thing you were doing wrong. Republicans generally like that. They're like, oh, you're a hypocrite? We love it. This is based on people who work closely with Herschel Walker. They're the ones who came and spoke to the Daily Beast. And uh, the overwhelming message from them is Herschel Walker is a massive liar and we don't trust him. Don't believe me? Emails and text show advisors discussing how they don't trust Walker, both to tell the truth to them and to handle campaign events properly and harboring concerns that he isn't mentally fit for the job. Isn't Here's mentally fit? <laughs> they think he's crazy. Those are the people closest to him. Those are the people trying to get him elected. That's right. And they think he's crazy. Yep. Meanwhile, the Republican voters are like, oh, crazy. That sounds pretty good.